If only there was a safety product that prevents tie related injuries. The YouTuber, Colin Furs, has apparently already solved this problem with his tried and true safety tie, which he sells to anyone looking to improve both their fashion and their safety record. I bought one and what a handsome look. He dons his tie in every video, whether he's making a 100 mile an hour bumper cart, twin propeller hover bike, or a hot tub in a car. He doesn't have necktie related injuries like me, so clearly his safety tie is working, right? Well, if this truly global problem has already been solved, then why have you and I been brought together? Well, I believe that there are improvements yet to be made on the Colin for safety tie to improve both its functionality and its safety performance. And progress on safety tie technology needs to happen, and I'm gonna do the development. Okay, so let's examine the existing safety tech and decide in which directions we will focus our design efforts. I see four areas of interest. First, durability. Safety products need to be tough and resilient. Imagine if safety glasses shattered when you worked. Not good. And existing necktie technology has a huge flaw when it comes to durability. So this will be our first area of focus. Second, visibility. Go to any job site and what are you gonna see? Neon yellow and orange high-vis shirts, jackets, vests, gloves, and other personal protection equipment, or PPE for short. Taking a second look at the existing safety tie, and I see a flat gray material that could blend into your attire. Anyone driving a forklift near you might be clueless of your presence. Third, tuckability. Upon further inspection of Colin's videos, you can see that his tie isn't always flapping about. He doesn't let it come close to dangerous equipment or rotating machinery. Often, you'll see his safety ties tucked into his button-down shirt. Now that is what could truly keep you safe while building dangerous gadgets and still look fashionable as fuck. Fourth, fashionability. A critical but often overlooked feature of safety equipment is how it looks. You will struggle to get your employees to wear proper PPE if they don't feel attractive while doing so. Clearly, Colin's tie is setting a high bar, but we must go further. So the challenge was set. I needed to improve the durability, visibility, and tuckability of the safety tie while also pushing the boundaries of fashionability. As I demonstrated before, neckties can be sliced quite easily. This seemed like a problem with material selection. So I poured through peer reviewed research papers and textbooks and discovered that ties can be made from silk, wool, cotton, linen, polyester, or microfiber. I embarked upon an exploration of new materials, which I could make a more durable tie out of. Here's what I found. A single sheet of paper? No. Four stacked sheets of paper? It's tougher than one layer, but if you get it wet, then it seems to lose structural integrity. Leather? Again, tougher, could be a contender, but the scissors still bite into it pretty well. Wood? Tougher still, but then we had the problem with splinters. That's not good. Plastic. That uh, works pretty well. Might have found a winner. According to the High Visibility Clothing Wiki page, as a form of personal protective equipment, high visibility clothing is worn to increase a person's visibility and therefore prevent accidents caused by persons not being seen. So let's baseline call on safety tie then. <laughs> hey! <laughs> There's a lot of room for improvement. So I added some color to the tie to see if I could increase my visibility on the job site. And then the experiment was replicated. Hey! Hey! Nice tie. Oh, thank you. You're so cute. Success! The original safety tie was so floppy, it was quite easy to tuck the tails into any button-down shirt. Unfortunately, with my new material choice of plastic, the tuckability factor has plummeted to zero. I can't even move and bend my body without stabbing myself, which is a safety violation. So I sat down on my computer and worked into the night searching for a solution. Aha! Combining the existing technology of tie clips, as seen on the red carpet, and tank treads, as seen on tanks, I invented an articulated tie design that has the ability to hug your body as you move. <laughs> Simply hang the tie on your top button, and clip the links into the shirt. The tie no longer pokes your stomach because of the smoothly rotating joints, nor does it get in the way of your work because of how it caresses your curvature. The links are printed from PLA, and the hinges are constructed by inserting filament through the pieces to connect them together.
This tie is fine, but no matter how safe it is, I can still dial up the aesthetics to ensure that people are going to be clamoring over themselves to wear it. So I scoured the internet for inspiration, swimming through fashion week after fashion week to internalize what it means to be fashionable. I shaped the profile, added in our high-vis color, and leveraged the golden ratio to build the world's greatest safety tie. I combined the timeless style of the bow tie with the functional necktie shape. No more will accidental scissoring result in half-length ties. No more will distracted excavator drivers bump their buckets into invisible gray tie-wearing employees. No more will the loose tendrils of neckties hang down into paper shredders, and no more will employees feel embarrassed about their looks when wearing mandatory protective equipment. Complement your look with the addition of other accessories like this stylish, slim-fitting vest and these epic eye savers. This truly is the greatest safety invention of all time, and I leave it to you to decide if my improvements on the Colin First safety tie warrant an addition into your wardrobe. And if you want a tie for your very own, then I'm putting the digital files available for sale, uh, both the bow tie and non bow tie version, um, available at the link in the description below. And if you still prefer the Colin Furs safety tie over my own, well, then please go buy one of his. Um, I've also put a link for where you can buy that in the description below. Either way, it's important to me that you work safely when wearing a tie. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I had a ton of fun making it. God, just writing the script was too much fun. Um, so please like the video if you did enjoy it. Um, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. <laughs> so look, I think we're both probably very giggly and stuff. <laughs> I can't stop laughing! Oops. <laughs> Okie dokie.